Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do a quick update here on my home lab, home network setup. Uh, had some changes going. Uh, it does look kind of messy again because we just moved some stuff around. But the TLDR, we are up and running. We have everything in one cabinet minus a few switches that are running some PoE cameras and whatnot. So going from top to bottom here again, I still have this distribution uh, panel that has some stuff coming in from the basement. Um, and some different points around the house that are like hardwired into the wall like that one on the other side of this wall here um, So top to bottom. This is a, a 6u wall mounted rack uh, nothing different here uh, We've got our UDM Pro. We've got our uh, aggregation switch. We got the 24 port keystone panel right here uh, This is a switch 16 PoE light um, which runs like all the PoE and I've got some IoT devices on there. Some of the stuff here is going to come off. Um, but we've just got some SFP to RJ45 adapters because this is my core switch. Everything runs into here. Um, I will come up to that in just a minute. Um, so we're doing a, a 10 gig DAC to the core switch. And then I have a 1 gig... Um, I think it's LC to LC fiber that's running over here and we're going down into my rack that was upstairs in my office so down here I've got a just switch 24 um, we've got the fiber coming in here and a couple things running off of this is this is my unraid server uh, this is two 10 terabyte drives um, and then there's also a one terabyte NVMe inside of this which is the cache drive uh, this is a 5700G with a uh, Gigabyte X570 or Elite motherboard and a, I said 5700G I think and 32 gigs of RAM. Um, I will be taking the 5700G out of this to put it into probably that box right up there. Um, I'll put my 3900X in here because I would like some more cores on this guy. Not, I mean it's super efficient, but um, I, I would like to throw some more virtual machines and stuff on this. Um, down here, I've got my Synology NAS, a 900 watt backup. Uh, this is the Sonos Boost. So this is one of the IoT devices. Um, and then we've got that running off of one gig and then this is running off of one gig. So um, in the future, I'd like to throw a 10 gig, um, 10 gig card in this or a dual two and a half gig NIC card. Um, just something that I could push a little bit faster this this is you could do link aggregation on the Synology but you're limited to one gig on this one I'm not really worried about it it's just for backups um, this is my temporary backup for like all my stuff on my computer and just playing around with some servers and whatnot so I, I really like Unraid it's it's fun um, so yeah so this was upstairs in my office I brought it down here I've got some new panels I need to put in um, to kind of se uh, separate some of the stuff on here so that's coming soon uh, where I said this 5700G is going to go is probably into this is my uh, what is this? this is a Proxmox server um, so this is a 2600X with 16 gigs of RAM and an old AMD I don't know I think it's R7270 card that's in here this is just to play around with VMs um, nothing production on here nothing nothing big so i like to put the 5700g in this and then consolidate this down into a small form factor matx case so it would just be a dedicated linux box that's the goal for this guy um and i can kind of retire this old dell dimension box um we'll see so then back up here at the top uh this is old switch not doing anything um, circle which is my parental control device that's plugged in up here I'm trying to take all the IOT stuff and throw it down on this rack and everything IOT will be over here and then I've got my 16 light PoE this guy I love it but I wish it was rack mountable I know that I can go on like Etsy or something and get a rack mount for it but it's a little bit taller than one U, so I don't know if it's going to take like one and a quarter one and a half use space i don't want to do that i'm still 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 debating on maybe i 
maybe I just remove this guy and upgrade this switch to a, uh, you know, they've got those new pro uh, ether lighting switches, but I don't need a 24 port. I would like a 16 port and I've heard rumors out there for it, but if I could get the ether lighting 16 port pro max switch with, you know, at least some two and a half gig, you know, I'll have a 10 gig NAC, uh, DAX or um, SFP plus modules, you know, and a couple one gig, you know, POEs. Hopefully the whole thing's 2.5 gig, which would be awesome. But I would like to have this upgraded to where I can have a, you know, another one U, but I want two and a half gig because I want to upgrade some of my access points. I like keeping all my networking stuff down here. It's kind of kind of a, a mess right now, but that's fine because as soon as I get this other switch here, I will probably sell this because I don't need that anymore. Um, or maybe I'll, I mean, I'll probably put up my office as the office switch, but I would like to have one clean, here's all my inputs coming right out into, here's where my switch is. And then I will run these cables, even this guy right here, will run into a, uh, a panel and I just kind of run everything out and where it just comes into the back of this keystone jack. So that, that's the future whenever they get a 16 port. Um, nobody comes in my closet here, so I'm not really worried about that. So let's talk about uh, up here at the top. So what has changed? So the first time in about seven years, I actually lost internet. Um, I've got Verizon Fios is my main. It's uh, one gig symmetrical, which is like 980 up and or 90, 980 down about 870 up is what their symmetrical speeds are. Um, so I got the one gig service coming in. Uh, never had an issue, but there are some yahoos up the street that cut a line and I was actually down, could not work for a little bit over a day. And that kind of like really bugged me. No hotspot, nothing worked. So, um, yeah, so that's there. I just added, this is uh, Xfinity's uh, base cable and it's 200 down and about 12 up. Now that is my failover. So that's right up here. That's on a SFP to RJ45. And this is just for failover. So if I was to unplug this, it would fail over within a couple seconds. And I have that as my backup. Now Comcast in my area uh, goes down and is not a good primary in my, in my opinion. Uh, some places that it's a little bit better, but I have it as a failover because uh, when, their, when our internet went out, if I would have had that up, um, I would still be able to operate and still do my day-to-day -day work. My 4G LTE router wasn't working. My hotspot on my phone wasn't working because like everybody was on cell phone. Um, so we will not have to worry about that again. And this is like super cheap. This is cheaper than my LTE router um, that I'm paying for monthly. I think I'm paying about 30 monthly for, um, I think it's like, 20, 20 gigs a month um, over LTE. This is 25 and it's faster. And I was keeping that LTE just for, just for backup purposes. But so we got failover, we got dual ISP in here, which is awesome. Uh, never have to worry about a day like, uh, like the other day. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what we have going on here. Um, I, I really, I'm really coming a long way. I mean, this is kind of an addiction. Uh, you'll see two uh, UPSs here. This is a 350 watt one. So this is just running this top rack. Gives me about 30 minutes of power right there. And then on the surge side of it is running into my 900 watt. So all in all, this whole network right here, look at that, 250 watts. So that's, that's everything. That's this whole thing. That's two computers. That's all the access points. That's, that's all of this gear is running up to here and we are 250 watts so it is the, all this stuff is less than the power of my uh current pc upstairs yeah so let me know what you guys think um this is just a short little ad hoc update uh we just moved the rack down here we added some fiber to connect these two together 
Uh, we added our second ISP. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. Be doing some cleaning up here as soon as I figure out when they will come out with this next switch. I may just jump ship and get the uh, get that. Uh, Was it the 24 Pro Max with ether lighting right here? So I just like just have the three items. I don't really need this regular basic 24, but it's it's nice having like a this is a mobile home lab. Um, I can just take this thing, wheel it out. All I need is one uplink, and I'm good. Everything here is self-contained. Um, that, that was my whole idea is to clean this up, keep this very basic, and then just have the one cable, which I can do 10 gig if I had a 10 gig switch down here. I could just run 10 gig over this whole rack. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's it. It's a little bit over 10 minutes right now. I didn't want to go that long, but... Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any suggestions or anything like that. And uh, have a great, wonderful day.